back to tutorial uh, to work this is the second tutorial so today's topic will be also very simple thing so for example you have uh, you are already using Jira platform and there are multiple users are using or maybe multiple users are already uh, 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 like added to the system so maybe you joined recently so you would like to uh, get the information about what are the user what are their roles and other things like their email address and all so if you want to get an a uh, complete export or complete list maybe you can do it uh, in a two different way maybe you can ask some admin or maybe if you have the access to uh, run the api uh, to the run the to query the using the api then you can do it by your own so the second thing is going to be interesting uh, cause in this tutorial we'll be going to talk about how to how to how, how to get the information from the rest api using python or rest api means Jira rest api using python to get all the uh, user information whoever is uh, already available in the Jira platform so this is maybe going to be uh, two three or five minutes tutorial but this is going to be very handy like uh, you can uh, take any decision afterwards based on your user count so I know this are, these things are very simple but if you do not know uh, like this sort of things then probably some advanced topic will be very difficult so there are multiple things that there like uh, user project project roles roles actor permission so all all these things you need to be actually um, you should know all these things then only you'll be able to uh, develop or design your uh, like advanced or complex uh, workflow use cases so that is why initially i'll be going to like tackle all these components uh, like uh, kind of uh, very slowly in small piece of tutorial and later on we'll uh, i will try to uh, like uh, create some sort of uh, advanced tutorial by merging all these components together so for example this tutorial will uh, see how to uh, get all the user, uh, user last tutorial we have seen how to get all the projects so maybe in the next tutorial we'll see how to create new user and the next tutorial we'll see how to add a user to the project like this way we'll be going to do so in this way you will be uh, definitely able to develop your intuition and so that you can also come up with some nice ideas nice use cases and also you can uh, solve them easily or maybe you'll be able to solve them easily right so before we move so to know more about this user related activities uh, we'll be going to refer to this link so link is already there so as i told you guys try to uh, like spend some time for the documentation like whatever you are uh, learning nowadays like whether it is any programming language any api or anything so if you follow the official documentation of that product definitely will be a, a better developer or better like guy on this topic definitely okay so next thing is we'll just usually going to check so for example now let me open my Jira platforms if you see here in my Jira platform by click here so you can search uh, there are multiple users are there but I do not know who is there uh, like maybe in actual case there will be multiple thing multiple grids are there and maybe some pagination also will be there so you want to get the export of this complete thing so what you have to do uh, let me tell you something maybe <coughs> Uh, rest api 3 then probably i think user and then search so if you run this thing we'll get all information about this user see i got all this information so now uh, i'll try to run this thing again from here so hopefully this is also going to give me the complete information okay so for that thing let me open gyro automation okay and afterwards uh, let me <coughs> Uh, I don't know whether I created a file or folder okay so I created a folder so my bad so maybe I can create a file yes so it should be tutorial tutorial 2.py right so maybe let me okay I just increase the size a bit okay so then what I'll do I'll just try to copy this tutorial one cause nothing is going to change as i already uh, like created this tutorial so let me explain this thing this is like normal import request then i just import json because i'll be going to use this thing so the next thing is that i don't need this thing probably uh, uh, i don't need this thing so maybe this is going to be uh, api 2 or 3 doesn't matter so whatever you can use so api 2 rest api 2 then probably yes not users and then search okay and then this is like this okay so payload i don't require any payload because i'll be going to uh, like do a uh, what do you say like uh, uh, 
Mm, I'll be going to I just use a get. So it should be get. Okay. Mm, okay. And after that, maybe um, just mm, payload is not required. Okay. And I need to change this authentication API key. So for API key, uh, let me just uh, open this thing again. Okay. So I have to go to Google. I have to Jira REST API. Maybe REST API token. Uh, maybe, yes, API token. And after that, <coughs> I have to click here okay and see I have this uh, tokens are created okay so this token is created uh, recently I don't know why this is saying that is nine minutes ago let me check yeah this is recently created so maybe I can revoke this token okay so let me create a new token maybe let me create this is for youtube okay create and let me copy this thing okay close and afterwards i'll be just going to put this thing so every time i'm creating a new token just because i'm just uh, doing this tutorial nothing else so what will happen now if i run this thing i will get all this thing over here okay so uh no i have done something wrong I, in a wrong place actually i put so this is the code of last tutorial not this one okay so this is the thing so this request.get so this is the url rest api user search and this is the thing so if i run this thing i will get all this information here okay so let's run this thing okay so it should be python 3.7 then tutorial 2.py so see I got all this information right see I got all this information over here right so this starts with this uh, this is a list actually start with cell so in the list uh, maybe every item in a list is a dictionary right so uh, what will happen so maybe I can uh, iterate uh, through this so what I'll do Mm, I'm just thinking how to iterate through this. Uh, maybe just hold on. Let me check if I get something out of it. Bound response JSON. So sorry, actually. Uh, yes so i get the json response now so i would uh, i would like to like iterate through this thing okay so what we'll do now maybe i can write data equals to json response okay so if you see here like in the json response uh, if this is actually a list or maybe i don't know what is this so maybe i can check this thing it's, it seems as list actually so data so this is a list actually so I can easily iterate through this thing so for example for uh, for users in data uh, print maybe I can write right maybe so let's run this thing so hopefully this will okay so so if you check here uh, okay so what I'll do I just uh, clear everything okay now let's run this thing again so if you see here this is one user detail uh, this is one user detail and this is one user detail like this so maybe if i'm not wrong uh just uh, where is that so where is that okay i have one two three four five six maybe i have a six user so probably uh 
only this six should come so maybe what i'll do i can just write print length of data let's just check the validating our point so everything we're learning right so uh, so just hold on so let me just make this and this thing okay and then try to execute this thing so this is saying 14 okay so i have 14 user so i don't know from where actually this 14 come but let's uh, like check this thing so every uh, list item is uh, having something called uh, something called uh, account id right this is the account id okay and account id is unique so probably some of the user will have display name or not maybe check uh, let me check actually like wh what is actually unique mm, maybe i think display name is unique every uh, everyone is has having display name so we can do it right so let's uh, do something okay so this may be <coughs> for so every item is having something called uh, this key okay so maybe i can write down this thing okay. so maybe print uh, maybe users like this so let's see so it should ideally print all the display name yes so i have 14 users like jira outlook jira spreadsheet jira service management so maybe uh, these things are like uh, coming by default so this is also coming by default something and after that this many users are actually created something out there in the visible in the dashboard actually okay so like this these things are very uh, like simple very unique you can do whatever you want to do so so my objective of this tutorial is that uh, to uh, like make you guys comfortable with the api so that you guys can think so if you think that if you want to do something with the api then actually until this part everything is uh, common okay right so suppose you want to do something on the project definitely the next time will be project if you want to do something with the user it will be user if you want to do something on the role so role only going to be applicable for the project so it will be project then project id then role so why i'm doing this thing and why i know this thing because i have gone through uh this 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 what is the documentation so i've gone through this documentation nothing else so i have already uh uh, uh shared the documentation so i learned it i gave some time i invested some time on this thing to learn and deliver something for my company for my project and now my time is to give you or sharing my knowledge with all of you so i am also not a very like highly uh, like uh, what do you say like i'm not a very smart guy but again i also do some hard work so i, I believe anyone can achieve this thing so guys i'll uh, request you or uh, recommend you or maybe it is my humble request that if you're learning something just try to get the uh, documentation and after that just spend some time maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes you will become wizard after two months or three months whatever you are going to invest okay so that's it that's a small tutorial for today's uh, session hopefully we are going to uh, like continue the series uh, maybe we'll upload uh, two more videos tomorrow because again tomorrow is another holiday saturday so hopefully uh, by end of this week we'll be going to uh, complete five or six tutorial and that is enough actually for the beginning and later on uh, if i can uh, update some more advanced tutorial i will do but i, I believe by uh, by end of this week you guys will be uh, also familiar so i hopefully you guys all uh, created your own jira instant and start playing around with this thing this is super fun and those are actually already working in project management or maybe haven't started working on the project management or maybe in the company maybe it's fresher or something like that so if you guys have this idea of jira and other things your manager or your boss you know client will be super happy to have you on board okay so that is actually very important for all the freshers those are actually waiting for their joining date because i know in india or maybe i'm just talking about india because i know their like uh, curriculum and also india the placement seasons are going on so maybe 70 percent or 80 percent colleges are already started and many of the students are already uh, got recruited now they are waiting for the actual joining date so once you join in the company definitely you have to work in an environment where the collaboration with the other team members is very important and collaboration is no, not only going to happen within your team it will be going to happen within your uh, client side or the customer so in that uh, perspective you should also having some understanding of this sort of tools only technical things are not required you have to be uh, uh, properly educated and uh, attitude building uh, team communication effective communication proper documentation uh, all these things so jira is going to help you if you know jira then you will be 
like you'll you also get uh, super comfortable to work with the team okay and if you know this sort of automation you can help your team uh, so that you can bring some added values uh, for your company for your project and definitely ultimately you will become a kind of a better person uh, not only for your like job and also uh, for everything so that is why uh, i will uh, request all of you guys to just uh, watch out uh, this playlist and uh, spend some time cause Jira is uh, being used by maybe 80% of the companies right now or nowadays and in the future also this will increase okay so that's it guys uh, enough of talking we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day